Good morning, folks. The rain cleared off enough. We were able to get outside. My supervisor with me. We're going to go check out the boat. See if she's grown legs overnight. Hopefully not. Welcome to the bodega. Like I said, we like to work. There she is, folks. 26 feet of 23-year-old fiberglass. She's actually in very good shape for her age. Uh, I, I kind of know the previous owners, very good friends with the direct previous owner, and he's direct good friends with those previous owners. Um, boat was bought new, lived in Corpus for a couple of years. Then some guy bought it off that guy, took it to Lake Travis or outside Austin. Luckily, didn't get to meet that rocky floor too much. She's pretty smooth. Um, I bought it off a gentleman that had it in, where was he? Alvin, Texas. He fished out of Freeport. So, I'm not sure if I've made it apparent yet, but she ain't got no legs right now. Those puppies came off before Christmas. We just haven't had a chance to deal with her. So here we are. Well, while I'm on the ground before I climb up in the boat, cause that's not too fun. Let's take a peek over here. What's in this corner besides the dilapidated four wheeler? Some big boxes that say Suzuki. Big shiny engines. Yeehaw, there we go. We're just missing props. These old girls. All right, back to the world cat. She's in pretty good shape. Rides great, takes the water great, gets good mileage, keeps everybody dry. What more can you ask for? I'll tell you what we can ask for. Well, we'll talk about that once we uh, do a good walkthrough. Don't mind the water, our barn's not perfectly sealed. So here we go, we got no engines back here, huh? And a kind of shitty ladder. So, I guess we'll start at the back. First things first, well, not first things first, but those Suzuki's need to get hung. And as soon as they get hung, we're going to work on building a swim ladder right here. Now, the reason we need a swim ladder is this little Armstrong T post deal is absolutely worthless. It's flown off, it's caught on engines, it's fallen off on the road. It's just, it's not what you want if you're actually going to use your boat. So we're thinking coming off around right here, come straight out with some aluminum, come down, have a nice swim platform right here, and a fold down ladder for easy in and out, in or out of the water. Now she's just a plain Jane world cat, nothing special. Sport fisher, which means non walk through transom, as you can see. But gives you a hell of a kill box. T top seen better days. I might have torn it in half by doing 90 down the highway, but we won't talk about that today. Oops. Um, so we've got those three hatches right there. One, two, three. Not a fan of those. Um, one, they're old looking. They've got that just patina of time. So we're going to yank those out. Um, if you've got any suggestions on good hatches, please comment below. I'd love to hear them. Moving forward. Let's see if we can see in here. All right, so... I'm not sure if this is factory world cat or this was one of the previous owners, but I am not a fan of this. It's locking your, your electronics in a box so that they sit there in the humidity and go bad. Same with your switches. No way, no people. 
Uh, so this is this is one of the main issues, I guess, projects for this boat. We're going to take all of this and do away with it. So where this giant hole is, I used to have. Let's see if you can see them. See those gauges in there? Yeah, that panel used to sit right here. Um, those were. Let's see, one, two, that's eight. There's 10 gauges in there, all related to those old Hondas sitting over there on the shelf. Oh, by the way, we have quite a collection of antique outboards back there. Anyway, back to the World Cat. That panel's coming out, and I'm no fan of this, this angle dash business, so I don't know if you can see at this angle. See, it kind of flares out. I'm sure that was a genius idea. Um, at the drawing board, at the drafting table. But in reality, it kind of sucks. The reason being is I'm kind of anal about the way all my wiring is. I want to be able to see everything. I want to be able to access it. I want to be able to service it. Theoretically, you never have to do any of that, but I am who I am. So this is not conducive to accessing your wire. By taking your panel full of switches and electronics, turning it in an angle, you're shoving everything into this corner and you can't reach it. We can even go back here and take a look. I mean easy access for this funny box switches etc oh you want in that panel reach back in that corner and good luck that just ain't gonna fly so what we're gonna do to amend this is this line right here is gonna go straight across right through here so we're gonna actually actually have to take this and cut all this out now that is a little bit out of my wheelhouse i mean i do own an angle grinder but i don't have the balls to cut my boat in half so i'm leaving that to the pros while they're busy cutting, we're gonna go ahead and remove this box and we're gonna glass everything flush across. I'm still on the debate with my mind of whether we just set all those new electronics nice and pretty into the fresh gel coat or do we get a hold of the boys over at American Offshore and have them send us a piece of half inch thick captain's mat, which will uh, kind of give it an updated look without breaking the bank. Um, these holes obviously are gonna be filled, these old ignitions from the Honda as the old binnacle cup holders i'm not really a fan of but i mean they are what they are freshwater uh fill hole going away i don't know if you'll notice inside the console no fresh water tank previous owner removed it i think that was genius because you're limited on space on a catamaran there's nothing below that floor besides water you can't store anything in there you want storage you put him here in the sponsons uh let's see what else we got here what else we got here these perco switches, latches, whatever you want to call them, those guys right there, there's seven of them on the boat. There's one on the keel box, there's one on this fucked up live well. Um, they all need to get replaced. Please drop a comment below if you've got any recommendation. I, I'm, I'm aware of what Jim Lux is. It's probably who we're gonna end up with, but if there's something better out there, I'd love to hear it. Um, moving up here. So we've got these stainless steel bow rail, correct? Goes from midship, what's that? pretty much where the helm is all the way to the front around and back so here's the reason we're talking about this I like many of you are on social media and I like to use hashtags to find things I'm interested in so once upon a time I'm looking through I think a world cat hashtag and pop up with this gentleman named Shane Jarvis. Shane Jarvis uh, is a young man, a little older than I am, runs the world's best, I'll say that, outfitter down in Panama. He's got a fleet of, I believe he's got three 33 foot world cats and just picked up a Freeman. Uh, so the man knows what he's doing with the cats. And he's got somewhat of a private island off the coast of Panama where you can go down uh, stay at a world-class lodge and go out with his team of world-class deckhands and captains and put some big fish on the boat I'm talking you want a 200 pound blue for breakfast easy you want a 200 pound yellowfin right after that easy you want to run back in shore and catch a rooster on top water we can do that too but luckily well not luckily uh, I don't live in Panama so I can't do those things but what I do like that Shane, one of the things I like that Shane has done with all his boats, except the Freeman, well, that might yet to happen because he just picked it up, is he's got bow rails on the front. 
Now, I just showed you my stainless steel bow rails, and yeah, they're stainless, they're bow rails, they work. But what do they achieve? Um, I mean, I'm six foot six, so not the best uh, measuring stick, but it's my boat, so it better fucking fit. So here's these rails. Just about waist high on me, and they taper down going that way. Great to fight your fish on with a rod, correct? Maybe, I don't know. I've never actually done it, I don't wanna tear up my rod. But I do know it's eating up gunnel space where rod holders could be. So it's already kind of chapping my ass. So thought is, let's get over here, y'all can see. How's it going down there, Boa? Um, so thought is remove starting right here. I'm gonna find my fingers. Uh, work your way up, remove all of that. We're gonna skin it, go back down to just the non skit. What I wanna do is take a card out of Shane's playbook and starting probably somewhere around here, we'll come up with, uh, I think Shane said inch and a quarter aluminum. And we're gonna come up pretty high. I'm talking, put that into perspective. Boop. In line with the T top. So let me get up on the deck. Remember I was telling you the, uh, the little stainless steel bow rail doesn't help the guy that's six foot six? Check this out. That's just high enough that if you're standing up here while trying to do anything while this boat's floating, you're probably gonna trip and fall. So we're gonna copy Shane's rails, Shane Jarvis's rails, and we're gonna start somewhere right about there Come straight up, pretty much in line with the top of the T-top. Well, not the tip top, but the rail. And we're gonna go all the way across the front of the boat. Through here and back. So the idea is my little 26 foot boat just got three foot longer. Actually four. I'm standing on four foot of non-skid up here that is pretty much useless space. But if we give this some safety rail, voila, we have a 29 foot world. We have a 30 foot world cat. Shh, don't tell anyone. That's a main hurdle. Uh, swim ladder is a big hurdle. Fiberglassing the dash all together, that's, that's gonna be a hurdle. Uh, while we're, while we're busy fiberglassing and shooting jail cut and all that fun stuff, can somebody answer to me what the heck WorldCat was thinking by making the top of your dash, top of your console, useless? Now, yeah, yeah, you could, you could put things up there, right? It's pretty big, 30-something wide. But, see this? That means anything you put near here just slides away. So you're bouncing around all sharp. Your stuff is airborne. This does not work. So we're gonna cut this off, probably move this compass all the way to the front because I can still see it up there. And then we'll come back with something like Decket or Seafoam or one of those EVA guys that makes a nice product. And we'll deck this whole thing in EVA foam and probably do some of those recessed pockets. That way everything doesn't float away. Uh, what else are we missing? What else are we missing? Boat's pretty clean overall. Uh, we just went through yesterday, finished off some de-rigging with my daughter, uh, pumped the fuel tanks down because, hey, it's 23 years old. I'd rather find out the tanks are good now than 125 miles offshore. Uh, pulling the tanks actually is not going to be as big a deal as most people make pulling tanks to be. Reason being, um, the previous owner, well, one of the previous owners was maintenance conscious, kind of the way I am. And he was an aluminum welder. So when he bought this boat, the T-top, let's see if I can find the welds. Um, this T-top originally was a freestanding T-top. Standard four legs around the console, comes up, comes back. 
Now, what the previous owner did, this one second, what the previous owner did was he tied in, if I can find the weld right here below the light, he tied in right here, came down with about 12 inches, an inch and a quarter, and actually made this badass little, uh, let me see if I can get it all in one picture. I could call it a union. Look, he's got uh, two fasteners. Two fasteners. So theoretically, to access the fuel tanks, which I'm standing on, by the way, uh, they go from, this is the access to the breather, which vents out. Um, that other hatch, that's the access for the filler neck and some other odds and ends like the pickup tube and the uh, float. They're going to be easy to come out. We're going to pull these fasteners, the previous owner, which we're going to name Joe Bob. Joe Bob did a great job here. Pull those off both sides. Leaning post is held in like with four feet, just like any other leaning post. And once you pull that leaning post, these panels should pop right up. Previous owner even told me that he popped them off, pulled the tank, flicked at them. But I don't trust his eyeballs, so we're going to look again. The reason I told you he looked is that's not 3M5200 holding the decks down. That's 3M white caulk. So it's not going to be an MF to work on this boat. Oh, other welcome to the boat. Perma table. Remember I mentioned the previous owner was an aluminum welder? Well, he didn't let his skills go, go bad. He built this pretty nifty bait table. Solid, doesn't fly off, doesn't bounce, doesn't rust. I like it. He even got the, t the, the starboard uh, top from Boat Outfitters instead of DIYing it. So props to him on that. What else, what else, what else? Um, yeah, yeah, as an, and as an aluminum welder. He built this box right here. Uh, nothing too special. It's aluminum. It holds together. The radios stay dry. Uh, that standard horizon is going to be coming out. Nothing wrong with it. It's a brand new radio, but it's not AIS. And I already have an AIS radio, so let's make it happen. Back behind there is a very, very fancy radio stereo system right here. It's top notch. Kenwood, man, that would have been the envy of the neighborhood back in 2000. But it's not 2000 anymore, so goodbye. Okay, I think that pretty much covers the basis of what we're going to be doing on the Worldcat. Um, Bubba's telling me wrap it up, so I think y'all are tired of listening to me. Appreciate y'all coming in, watching, getting caught up, learning what we're going to be doing this year. Uh, well, hopefully this isn't a year project, but... If it happens, it happens. The main goal is get this boat 110% fishable. I want it to be on the water for the next 25 years with no problems. I want my kids and I to go out and catch some fish and not have to come back and spend hours and hours working on this damn boat every weekend. So if there's anything you, you feel I've overlooked, comment below, shoot me a message. I'm not sure how YouTube works, but I will probably make a video addressing uh, anything that's of pertinence. So thanks again. You'll have a good day and try to stay dry.